Those from together. Chapel Hill. So they're like world famous Michael Jackson tribute and who's bad, who's bad is right here uh, from the triangle. And this is not good. We've got some scattered showers. I know it's been kind of pesky. It hasn't been severe. There's no thunderstorms, not really all that heavy. So you don't have to worry about that overnight. But we do expect this rain to move out by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. And one thing we've talked about this week is how wild our weather has been in 2023. How about this statistic? 15 of our 16 weekends so far this year have had rain. The only one that hasn't was March 4th and 5th, Saturday, March 4th, Sunday, March 5th. And we've got rain coming this weekend. So we're about to make it 16 of 17 weekends with rain. And we've got some rain tomorrow, but nothing significant. We've got these waves of rain moving across the country and they're just rolling through North Carolina occasionally. They're hard to time out, but our best chance still looks to come Friday. Thursday looks like this. Plenty of cloud cover. Again, 10% chances, a sprinkle in the morning, some better chances, maybe up to 20% as we head into the afternoon. But our temperatures tomorrow, again, will be close to 70, generally in the 60s. And how is it that a star that's millions of miles away can just set itself right on the horizon and look like it's right in our own backyard. What a super sunset tonight. It's from Portsmouth Island in North Carolina on our coast. Thanks to Todd for making the trip out there, the sacrifice to go to the beach and capture this amazing shot. I'll put this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page just as soon as I'm done here at the weather wall. So we talked about those waves of rain. There's the one over us right now, but you kind of follow it out to the west. There's one, there's one, there's one. There's a big one though in Texas. This is the one that's going to move through in two different waves on Friday and bring us our best chance of rain all week and a threat of severe weather. So let's walk through the next 48 hours and talk about how this is going to happen. I'll pick up the weather map tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. when again a lot of that rain has left us but we still have some clouds. Maps go in motion throughout the day. More clouds, maybe a sprinkle around lunchtime. Our best chance, 20, maybe 30% as we get into Thursday afternoon. Again, those waves kind of rolling in from the west. I'm going to stop it here late Thursday night. We're mostly dry, but here comes one of our big waves that's going to be here Friday morning. Widespread showers and thunderstorms possible Friday morning for the commute. Maybe a threat of severe weather. That first batch starts to exit around lunchtime. We're going to get a break in the middle part of the day. Here we are at 4 o'clock Friday. But then a second wave that could involve some stronger storms moves through Friday night. So it's not going to rain all day Friday, but it's our best chance, especially in the morning. And it's that afternoon and evening wave that has the better chance of bringing severe weather. That's why we have that marginal risk of severe weather on Friday. Not severe tomorrow, but a 30% chance of rain with a high of 69. It's an 80% chance of shower storms and a possibility of severe weather Friday. Not sure they're going to get Friday night fireworks in at the Mudcats game. We'll be watching that. We dry out Saturday with highs close to 80, so big warm up there. And then some scattered showers return later Sunday, a little bit into Monday for the first day of May. And your exclusive 10-day forecast keeps most of next week in the 70s with a little bit of rain returning next Friday and Saturday.